Each new shift in the pandemic brings new questions, such as if you do still want to keep wearing a mask, is it OK to go back to the more comfortable ones now? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to answer your questions, including one about boosters as well, Frank. Paul asks, my family and I had our booster shots about six months ago. With the Omicron vaccine supposedly coming out in March, would you recommend getting the fourth shot now or wait for the Omicron vax? So, Paul, if you are currently fully vaccinated and boosted, there is no reason for an additional shot at this time. And I would actually wait for future CDC recommendations, especially with the potential for variant-specific vaccines in the future. Now, here are some more of your questions. Sharon asks, now that the cases are going down from the Omicron variant, should we still stick to the KN95 masks or can we go back to the daily disposable masks? Well, Sharon, if you're going to mask, using the best mask available to you is always the best option, but comfort is also an important factor, and you're right to suggest that we should adjust our behaviors to the current risk levels. In my opinion, cases have fallen quickly enough that going back to an ordinary mask is reasonable, assuming you're not in a crowd, indoors, or at high risk from COVID. Now, Lorraine asks, is the original COVID-19 still infecting people? Are the variants before Omicron still infecting people? According to the CDC's gene sequencing, at present in the United States, essentially 99.9% .9 of infections are being caused by Omicron. The original SARS-CoV-2 virus is no longer in circulation. Now, right now, the competition is actually between Omicron subtypes BA1 and BA2. In the past week, BA2 has increased from 1.2% of Omicron samples to 3.6%, and its proportion may continue to increase since it's considered more transmissible. Now, finally, a viewer named Dave has more of a statement than a question about an answer that I previously gave regarding over-the-counter medications for COVID, but I want to address it. Dave says in part, to flat out say that there are no OTC options for people to try and boost their immune system is pure evil. So Dave, while I think the word evil is pretty extreme, let me be clear. There are no over-the-counter medications proven to treat or prevent COVID beyond symptom control. Now as to whether staying healthy, eating right, sleeping well, and anything else that you can do to enhance your health is beneficial, I would of course agree. Now as for over-the-counter vitamin or mineral supplements like zinc and vitamin D, I would leave that up to the individual since they aren't really harmful. The only good science, though, at this point is that if your vitamin D levels are deficient, that is low, supplementing them to normal levels does appear to have a protective effect. Back to you.